What's up guys, West Coast Picks here, and today I have some locks for Jim. It's for uh, Texas Jim. I have some Asa Abloy Corbin Ruswin uh, cylinders. They're actually some pretty nice locks. And I have tried, believe me, I've tried. Uh, Jeff Moss even sent me a couple keys just on the off chance that they might fit and they don't. I've tried finding keys for these locks and I can't. They don't, they don't, uh, well they're actually restricted. It's a restricted keyway. Um, but I don't know if they make them anymore. They probably don't. It's a really old keyway. But um, it's a six pin and I got these from my father, so I have no idea where they actually came from. Uh, they were probably like a display lock or something, because with a bidding like that, uh, they weren't in use. There's no way with a bidding like that. So, uh, and they're in really good shape. Uh, I know they're six pin, and uh, one working key works on both locks, so they're bitted the same. And these are going to go out to Texas Jim for him to pin up crazy however he wants. Um, unfortunately, I only have one key for him, and he's going to have to doctor it if he wants to use it. Uh, it does come close to fitting some other common keyways, like um, like a KW1 or something, or WR5, I think is pretty close, but uh, you'd have to file it a little bit. Anyway, I'm going to send those out to Jim, and uh, unless he says otherwise, he's going to get those in the mail in a week or so. Um, but on to the revisit of the secure padlock. Here's the uh, casing on it. You might remember what it looked like. Uh, I had a little plaque around the shackle, too. But anyway, um, in the comment section, somebody was telling me that there's only like five different biddings for... Uh, let's see if I can find out who it was give them credit for this uh, it's user 94t4 so for 44 but it's actually the number four letter T number four um, 944 uh, says I'll read it for you guys it says uh, don't quote me but I think they only use about five different biddings stamped keys so for around ten dollars you can have all the necessary keys I opened up one a while back and the Bible was plastic. So if you don't have a key or picks, they can also be opened with a small torch or a screwdriver, he says. Um, and I don't doubt any of that. But it actually got me to thinking, so I went and grabbed it and uh, peeled all the crap off of it. And took a nice close look at it. And I don't know if you could see in between the core and the uh, actual lock itself, but what's that white stuff where there should be a brass core? Looks like something white there. I think that's plastic. I think this thing's got a plastic Bible, a plastic uh, core, except for the plug. So my thought is, it might be to be able to force this thing open. I mean, it's only plastic. It's not like it's metal or anything, right? I'm a strong guy. It's a screwdriver here. Uh, let's see it work one last time before I probably fuck it for life. Yeah, it works. Yeah, it works. Hard to screw these things up. Anyway, uh, let's see if uh, the screwdriver works, shall we? Try not to stab myself here. If I do, then it's on camera for everyone to see. And it's open. Fuck, pins are falling out of this thing. Look at that. So I, I actually didn't have to put that much force on it. I hope that was in frame. But, uh, there, I turned it back so we can lock it again. <laughs> but I didn't have to put much force on it at all. Uh, and now, of course, once it's done, it's done. Any more pins going to fall out of that? There's one more pin in there. Yeah, it's um, definitely a plastic core. I could turn this thing in circles. It, uh does not care and I should be able to just drop this plug out if I can fuck the Bible up enough 
but that might be too much to ask. There might actually be a good locating pin in there. Uh, we'll see what kind of pins we got. That almost looks like a mushroom, and I don't know. That probably happened from when I uh, torqued on it there. That almost looks like a mushroom pin. Or a spool pin. A shitty spool on one side, but uh, these other two are just normal. Normal. I don't even know if that was a driver pin or, or what. Oh, they're actually uh, also magnetic. So these aren't even brass. They're brass colored, but they're uh, steel. Strange. Anyway, guys, that's the uh, revisit of this uh, secure padlock from the dollar store. Um, I guess it's a good source of pins. <laughs> Other than that. Yeah, just bring your screwdriver, guys. You'll be into this thing in no time. Yeah, these are the driver pins. They must be, because here's another one just like it. And it looks kind of spooled. So they try to put a shitty, shitty spool in there. But <laughs> anyway, guys, take it easy and try not to break any laws.